eight adventures, eight roles to play. Step into the shoes of eight different travelers to inherit their strengths, their struggles, and their dreams. Good day, everyone. Complaining Gamer here. You asked for it, so here it is. The current state of Switch emulation in Yuzu for Octopath Traveler. Your request was incredibly well timed as the latest canary build of Yuzu available right now, version 1012, implemented several improvements which have helped Octopath progress further than ever before. Before you get your hopes up too high, remember, this is an early in development emulator and whilst it has been taking huge strides towards an authentic experience, there's still a long road ahead so always remain patient and maintain realistic expectations. At least that's what I'd normally say but Yuzu keeps on breaking all the norms. Previously the most we got out of Octopath was a cut in half loading icon but today we get significantly more even as far as in game but you'll see the limitations of that soon. Octopath Traveler runs on the Unreal Engine and if you'd like to learn more about the technical aspects I highly recommend checking out the Digital Foundry coverage on it. It's a hybrid JRPG for a hybrid console if you will, but developers Square Enix and Acquire know exactly where to push the boat out technically and where to stick to that comforting 2D template. Upon booting Octopath, the first screen I was greeted by was System Settings. That is followed by the various splash screens, albeit with some visual corruptions. I grabbed a save to test out how well they currently work and if they aid in getting in-game as some titles do require saves to get in-game successfully. When at the main menu, the graphical corruptions seem to constantly vary randomly, acting differently every load. This suggests to me that after some debugging from the Yuzu team, we should see a visually stable boot. Images and text seem to appear as and when they like in build 1012. If you select accurate frame buffer in Yuzu options, it will lead to a rendered 3D background on the main menu as well as other visual improvements. We can select the different menu options, but as you can see, the text is scrambled. By selecting continue, the middle option, it will eventually present your save files which will then take you in game. Once loaded, the corruptions continue with no obvious sign of rendering the graphics. The potential for rapid growth with Octopath Traveler given the team's track record is huge, so don't be surprised if you see ridiculous improvements in a short period of time. Once in game, it doesn't take too long before Octopath crashes whether in docked mode or handheld mode. But like I say, this is the current experience in Yuzu Canary Build 1012. I would not be surprised if things get considerably better in build 1013, 14, 15. As always, remember you can show your support on their Patreon. Leave your ideas, thoughts and comments down below. You'll also find my Discord right there. If you dislike the content, dislike. If you like it, leave a like. And to stay up to date with all things emulation, subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'll catch you in the next one.